Hopefully that works. I recently released a film with my friend Mario where we recreated a very grungy and dark look. The whole idea behind the film was to only use a few lights and yet create a very contrasty, very A24 look. I'm very happy how everything turned out, but for this one specific behind the scene video, I just want to focus on one main scene, which was the car scene. The car scene was the one with the more contrast and is the one that we use only one light, which is the Zayun. M20C. This brand new light from Zion, it just looks incredible. Like, look at this thing. It has these barn doors on top that you can just open, it has a grid, you can use this as a key light on the go, and it fits right in the palm of your hand. So the whole idea behind the car sequence was to push myself to be able to create something very interesting in terms of lighting and color just by using one light. Hopefully that's enough to light the whole car scene. That's fine, we're not gonna see anything, any of this. Um, all we're gonna see is like you driving in the board. Okay. Like, yeah, that's it. Bro. Yeah, like that's sick. <laughs> that's cool. Three, two, one, go. Two, one, go. Yeah, I'm gonna go inside, that's a good idea also. Just closing the door. Yeah. We got a bunch of shots of Mario getting his surfboard in the car and then out of the car, which were super fun to get. And then we moved on to the driving scene. One second. And go. As I mentioned before, the light we used for this whole scene was only one, and it was the Zion M20C. This brand new light from Zion is actually pretty impressive, and although for this scene I only used it with a small softbox on it, it can actually do so much more. First of all, it's a beautiful looking light. The design is super modular and it just looks cool. You can strip it down so small to fit within your pockets, but also build it up to have it as a key light if you want to, thanks to the softbox grid and barn doors that it comes with. And it's all modular and magnetic, which means that you can add or remove anything simply by dropping it or just taking it off, which is super simple. There's no screws, there's nothing that gets in between you and creating this light up. Simply like barn doors, off, grid, off. And now you have a soft box. Like, how satisfying is that? So let's say going there, We'll stay at the front and you just stay kind of behind. We'll okay. stay on this side, you stay behind this way. So I can shoot to you. And then when I say this, after the round on the way back, when I say this, just overtake us. We're gonna shoot on a 65 millimeter, 65 millimeter. And we're gonna shoot Mario going back and forth on his car, just with a gimbal outside of the car. And then we'll put the suction cup in. The first gimbal. We drove to the nearby golf course, which has a huge road with not too much traffic, which makes it the best for this scene. What I wanted to recreate here was simply something that I never actually tried to shoot before, which is a car sequence and night. Once I was happy with the look that we got, we just got shooting and every single shot just looked incredible. From the gimbal shots, which were just simple rolling shot of the car coming past and like stopping and you know, following the car from another car to the suction cup. Honestly, I wish we were able to get a few more shots, but unfortunately we kind of got kicked out. So we only were able to get four, five shots in total, which wasn't ideal, but it was enough to get the story going and enough to at least try the, the light setups that I wanted to get. What I wanted was color contrast and this is why I didn't go too complicated and I just went extreme. So obviously no one has a red light inside a car, that's just not practical, but it looks cool in video and photos so that's why we did it. I simply put this light on the floor, stripped down, 
like this with only the soft box on and I set it to red, the most red color I could find. And um, I dimmed it down and that's pretty much it. I wanted this super contrasty one-sided red, one-sided just street lights look. And I think it came out actually pretty, pretty good to be honest. To me, it's just incredible that you can create such a cool look just by using a pocket light like the M20C. So if you wanna check out this light, have a look on the link down in the description. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you liked what we created in this video and there's so much more to come. So leave a like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.